What's up YouTube? So in today's video, I'll be heading out to uh, Sacramento Speed Garage, which is the new shop uh, that opened up here recently in like two months ago. Um, I'm sponsored by them, as you can see here. I have it on the back of my car. But uh, we're gonna go head out over there right now and uh, talk about a few mods that I might be getting done there and see what they can do about it. So I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, so I just pulled into they better put the car on the lift. This is them to check them out. I'll uh, have the address. So feel free to come check them out. They do basically everything out here. So if you guys want any kind of work, suspension, exhaust, roof wrap, whatever, you name it, just bring it out here to them. Or you can just check them out on their website right here. You gotta jump it? Yeah. It's been sitting here forever, dude. What makes you want to sell it though? Why don't you want it anymore? So, it, I forgot what gears it has. It's got a Dana 10, 10 bolt, mm -hmm. but the transmission is a three speed. It's a BNM three speed. Mm -hmm. It's a racing transmission. So it tops out at like 60 miles per hour. Damn. And you can barely drive it anywhere. <laughs> so I'm just like, what am I gonna do with it? You can never go on the freeway on this though. This makes my car look hecka small. Huh? This makes my car look hella small. Huh? How many what? Oh, probably, honestly. You know what could fit in those? The, the Fiat. The little Fiat? Yeah. Yeah. Like a smart car? Yeah. Easily, I think. Come on, baby, start. He doesn't want to start. It's in good ass condition though for, yeah, for how old it is. The guy that kept it, I kept it hella clean. Yeah. It's crazy how much space he's got. He's got so much space. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Put just a little 350 in it. Where'd you get this? I had it for like two years now, dude. Yeah? Yeah. Dang. At first I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna do things to this and that. And then it's never ended up happening. You drive something else too? Huh? What else do you drive besides this? I got thing? my 2013 Camaro. Oh, nice. Yeah. old school and the not so new school I, I just think that it's like really hard to beat the sound of these kinds right. of trucks. The yeah, they just sound hella clean. It's loud. <laughs> I'll just tell them, I love how these trucks sound. Like, I love old school. Yeah, it sounds like a nice. The paint on it's like a good too. Yeah. I was just telling him the it condition of it. Like a year ago, right? 
Huh? Was it painted like a year ago? Sorry? Painted? Because the paint looks hella nice. Oh, it was painted like three years ago. I brought but it. It just sat. Yeah. It was like literally painted and just sat. She got spark all over it. So oh. shiny and stuff. This is dusty. Yeah. Kind of sad that you want to sell it though. I know. I mean, if you don't drive it, it kind of makes don't, sense. I really don't. All right, so I'm back home with the car. As you can see, it's back there. But uh, so why did I go to the shop today? I didn't really explain while I was at the shop for a few reasons because I was talking about other potential uh, mods or future projects with the car so I didn't want to spoil anything and um, what they did today though was my mid pipe was rattling on my frame for some reason it was too close and it was hitting whenever there was a bumpy road or something and so they fixed that for me it doesn't do it anymore I didn't hear it on the way home and what they were also going to do is uh, where the bumper connects or the rear bumper connects to the rear quarter panel of the cars I have this gap and you can see it's like cracked because I got hit right here a while back and I guess one of the tabs broke and so it's just a gap right there and so they were gonna try to fix it today but we found out the tab was broken so there was no way to do anything today because I was busy uh, later today so I couldn't stay there for the whole time and I couldn't leave the car there and um, I have a. I'm gonna go back next week, I believe. To they have a parts car of the three valve, so they're gonna what they're gonna do or try to do at least is they're gonna cut that little uh, bracket off of the parts car, and then they're going to plastic weld it onto this bumper, and hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, we're gonna see what else we can do to get this bumper to sit flush with the quarter panel. And then if not, if worst comes to worst, I might have to get a new bumper, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to that, and I don't think it'll come to that, but that's like the worst case scenario. Uh, besides that, I didn't talk much in the shop for a few reasons. The biggest one being because I was talking about potential modifications to this car that I didn't want to spoil anything about or uh, whatever, so that's why I didn't uh, record that much today, but when I do go back next week, I am getting that fixed and you're gonna see something else that's getting done to the car that day so I will be recording in the shop that day while they're doing work to it uh, just didn't do it today since there was talk about other modifications but if you like the video drop a like comment subscribe if you haven't already follow me on Instagram uh, it's the same thing as my channel SSI native uh, check out the shop the shop's name is Sack Speed Garage it's in the bio below I'll have the location and the name of the shop there as well as their website and also you can click on my any of my posts on Instagram I have their Instagram account tagged on it so if you want to ask them anything that's where you can go or you can go on the website so thanks for watching and that's it so